Hello guys, it's your guy Frank Naro and this is a video to show an overview of the dynamic login system with the ad user um, form. So our um, ad user or the login will be dynamic in such a way that the user, the new user will not be given a password but will have a default password and as the user logs in with the default password he will get the chance to reset his password to the new or to change the default password to his or her new password so please guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit on the bell for more videos so let's see an overview of it so that in the next video we will get how this um, um, how we did those forms and how it worked the codes behind the forms so um, we will start with um, viewing the login although I'm having just a simple design with the login but as we move on we'll be adding more features to it maybe it will not be nice to you but at your end you can also add more features or more designs or more controls to it so i have this login design over here and when i come to the source i have my course written at the back of it i'll be explaining it more in the next video so this is the part one that's give us the overview and have the frm um, frm password form where we this forms um the aim of this form is to help the user the new user to change the password and also have the add user where we will add the new user we just use this form it although it is having only two um, fields that's the user id and the user phone name but you yourself can add more to it so at your end you can add user location your user um, um phone number and that in the rest and as we move on on our project as the pharmacy management system we will be adding more features to some forms that has been done so this is our first form that we are starting with it with the project so i will launch it and you will see how it works so this is the main class and within the main class public static board where the main execution takes place um, we, we said frm login so that here's the frm login it has been assigned to the variable lg and under it is a lg dot visibility so that means we want to see lg that's the form frm login and we are setting the location relative to now we know now in um, graph no, um, number line graph to be the center meaning we want the form to be on in just the center of the screen that's very simple so let's launch and see so my pharmacy is running down here and boom we've got an output with this so first we will input in a username we will input in a password let's click on login to see so invalid username or password okay let's add a new user so let's check ad003 let me check my database to see so i'll go over here server database and um let me check the connection is not true because there is a break here let me connect this action of the password so it is connected now so the tables the uses let's right click and view data okay so we have these details within it we have Frank G, um, Sandra, we have Apia Collins, and the username is AD001002, 
and um, Apia Palace is new and narrow. You have a user password to be narrow. Why are we having new new? Because I have said in my code that if the uh, user password color is set to new, it means the user is new and needs to change the password. So this time around, we will add a new user. We we'll check if the uh, the user password is new, and we will log in with the user password and see what happens. So I'll go to new, add new, and we have this. Let's enter the full name to be um, Sarah J. Okay, so add user. So save. Okay, let's go back to login. So let's refresh it and see. So we have four, Sarah J. And we didn't assign any password to it, by, but by default, we are having new over here. So as a default uh, or as a new user, you log in with your user ID and the default password that is new. So we will go AD, AD003, and our new password is new. So let's log in and you see change password so it gives the user the chance to change the password on his or her own without anyone knowing his or her password so the user will assign his password to be maybe Sarah I'll say Sarah as my password and maybe if I enter a different password at the confirm, uh, confirm um, text box Maybe something like this. Let's proceed and see. So password does not match. Re-enter password. Okay. So I have to re-enter. So Sarah and then Sarah. Now proceed. And you see, process completed. Login with ID and new password. So I just hit OK, and it sends me back to the login form again so my id is ad003 and my password is sarah that's the new password so let's hit login and see so welcome sarah j to the system so it is welcome you and also showing your full name in a test form so this is how our dynamic login form and add user will be working as we move on, we'll be adding so many designs, so many features, and so many um, uh, um, controls to our form to make it more um, attractive. Let's see the things we'll be adding. We'll be removing this um, this bar, that's the um, close button, and this minimize and maximize. We'll have our own close button over here we have our own minimize and everything over there we want to do it everything manual just to fit our needs just to get all our requirements on the form so we will do it everything on our own also we will be when we come to the add user we have only two fields and we will be adding more to it so at your end right now you can also add any information you want to take it from the user you can also create a new table also when uh, in the video you watch it in the part two you can also create a table that you can accept other fields that has been placed so thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit on the bell for more videos bye bye